Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate is China. In this episode, we remove Egypt from the map. Yeah, that's right. Egypt is going the way of the dodo. At the end of this episode, Egypt should no longer exist, theoretically. Um, a lot of these units may end up damaged or destroyed. That's in our Pacific fleet over here. Actually, I can cancel that. Our, our, um, our naval force, theoretically, might get pretty, pretty screwed up over here, so. Our invasion force is going to slide in right behind our main force. Lots of uh, naval stuff over here, so. We're going to pre-deploy our navy. in a way that both protects our carriers also at the same time puts our oh this one doesn't even have aircraft we want to basically be kept keep those guys safe as best we can so anyone falling within this range of exclusion that I'm about to set up here is going to get engaged and the hope is Like, for example, this Indian Viking class, it's Canadian. Pretty sure that's Canadian. These two Viking class warships should get destroyed pretty quickly. So, our main plan is to make it look like we're going to invade across the border. But our primary actual invasion is going to come from, well, the major the, the Mediterranean. So here we go. We declared war. Give me all those terms. Pause real quick. Boom. We're going to highlight these guys. Do aircraft only, please. And do strikes there on the port. We're going to land our first... Oh, see our anti-shipping missiles are already flying around. The exclusion zone. The first batch of invasion forces are coming in. They've landed. As long as they can push out of this bridgehead, we are good to go. Okay. So that was the first one. Now here, 
It's the second set of invasion force. And the third. All main roads into China are covered, and our advancements are beginning. I'm going to put the Air Force on full autonomy. autonomy. So our plan to basically take a look, I'm not too worried. Turn this off, we're going to turn our supply on to see how our supply is doing. And that's the whole point. As long as our supply can keep up with these guys, we are good to go. We're going to up to speed a little bit. Now we've lost units in that invasion. That's no big deal. Still more units. Already in infantry. It's one of the things that Egypt is not going to be able to do with us, which is the sheer amount of troops that we can throw at them. I mean, we are going right for their capital, basically. The whole plan here is just push right to the capital. These guys are going to go across the border here. Just keep pushing towards the capital. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. As long as these guys keep fighting down here, it's going to withdraw the majority ground troops only. We're going to be able to just keep pushing these guys forward. Capture that, please. Egypt doesn't have the ability to sustain a war with us. So we're pretty much going to grind them down. There we go. Keep going. Those units didn't even have to do anything. <laughs> like, I haven't even brought the full force to bear yet. These guys just withdraw to our uh, 
better defensible lines. Why do I have... I don't know how those guys even got caught behind enemy lines. But no big deal. These guys are going to keep pushing. Large number of our troops are finally coming down the pipes. Now for the next phase. The systematic cutting off. of the two territories combined. Best part about this whole this whole invasion plan, there is not a damn thing that these guys can do about it. Because they are massively, massively outgunned. Territory after territory falling to our units. I think these guys should be able to grind them down now. In the meantime... We're watching the systematic destruction of an entire country. Oh, they... Well, they captured that point. I didn't even realize it. No big deal. No, troops only. Oh, we totally just whiffed on this area, didn't we? Let's make sure that's destroyed. One thing I like about the shift button is you can actually control exactly how your units move around.
Why do I have a bunch of units that are... Why did I have a bunch of units that were... Uh... That was very strange. I had a bunch of units that were behind the lines. Wow, mounted infantry. These are captured units. I have captured a bunch of enemy units. Uh, Spain's gone nuclear. Yeah, I know we've lost a lot of units in this war, but... I am not too worried. Oh yeah, they're those guys are gone. No big deal. We're about to cut. Oh, let's get that territory there, please. Perfect. I want you guys to push down here. You guys are going to push to here. And you guys are going to push to here. Well, these guys are going to continue pushing. Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. A Puma. Wow. We're oh, we must have gotten a trade deal for units that I didn't realize. Once these guys are positioned, we're just going to roll west. In the meantime, these guys are in the process of cutting off. Half the country, all in one shot. There's probably a unit there. We'll remove him from having to worry about uh, what future holds for them. In the meantime, we'll continue moving up our units. These guys will keep pushing down this way. These guys are going to keep pushing along the coast. Probably lost a significant amount of troops, but no biggie. Once we have the country cut in half, I am going to be rather happy. These guys have got completely cut off here. Eh, don't worry. Let's recapture that base, shall we? And then reallocate those guys there. Because they're trying to push a little bit. I give them props for, for pushing in this direction. But you're also going to lose your capital soon. By soon, I mean right now. Their 
Where the Mudra Capital 2? Oh! We're just going to take it for now. But we're also going to take what's left of these territories. So we're at war with a few countries here still. Okay. We now control that. The annex. We're going to take this last puppet. Yes, we did. Continue on, please. There's a lot of countries that are going to continue existing after this. And boom! So now they should no longer, Palestine should no longer exist as well. Should take over in a couple seconds that we now control them. What? Oh! How about now? We're only at war with Palestine, so they should surrender about now. Unless they have a capital somewhere else that I don't know about. And we're going to annex Palestine. Okay, so in the next episode, we are going to systematically release a whole butt-ton of countries into their and give, give them their own independence. Uh, we're going to obviously withdraw a lot of these troops out of these territories. Um, we're going to start with releasing the countries over here in the in uh, in Africa, or sorry, in uh, well, Africa, in um, the area that's currently known as. Um, Argentina, pretty much. Really? Does Argentina control... Wow! Argentina pretty much controls almost all of... Uh, all of South America. Well, we're going to release those countries anyways, and uh, in the next episode, see you then. Bye-bye.